During the 1950s, my brother and I were fascinated by the science and the science fiction that played on our television. But our need to explore space movies drove us to take a trip to the local lunar theater. We stayed much longer than we intended, but while we were there, we discovered five underrated sci-fi movies of the 1950s. Number five, The Man from Planet X. Directed by Edgar G. Elmer and starring Robert Clark, William Shallot, Margaret Field, Raymond Bond, and Roy Engel. As a planet named X is moving close to Earth, a friendly alien scout arrives. He seems to trust the first couple he meets and they learn to communicate. Lawrence. Elliot. Oh. <sighs> but the mistreatment by a single maniacal scientist causes the alien to think badly of humanity. And the alien makes zombies out of the villagers. Is anything the matter? Father, do you hear me? Number four, Rocket Ship XM. Directed by Kurt Newman and starring Osa Mason, Lloyd Bridges, Hugh O'Brien, John Emery, Noah Berry, and Morris Ankrum. The producers advertised this movie as the screen's first story of man's conquest of space because the plan was to reach the moon and establish a military base for the good of humanity. Unfortunately, the five astronauts who took the trip veered off course and headed toward the planet Mars. Once there, the crew discovered that where formerly there was civilization, they found only a desolate existence. Or at least, that's what they thought. Number three, Queen of Outer Space. Directed by Ben Hetch and starring Zsa, Zsa Gabor, Eric Fleming, Lori Mitchell, Lisa Davis, Patrick Walt, Barbara Darrell, Paul Birch, and Dave Willock. At first glance, the clothing makes you think this is a sequel to the movie Forbidden Planet. No such luck. They're just using the leftover wardrobe from the previous movie. Oh, murder. After blasting off safely, the space station blows up before they can get to it. It's gone! It just blew up! The spaceship carrying the four astronauts gets knocked off course and crashes on the planet Venus. That doesn't sound right. Intelligent beings, perhaps, yes, but who knows what form they may have taken. Blaster-wielding all-female mini-skirted Venusians who plan to destroy the Earth captured the crew. That makes better sense. Yes! The film's saving grace is the amazing flat screen TV. Court member Talia. Ten Earth years ago, our world became involved in war with the planet Mordor. 
and the queen. The woman needs a man's love. Let me see your face. <laughs> Will our hero stop the upcoming destruction or have these frightening Amazons doomed us all? Number two, When Worlds Collide. Directed by Rudolf Mate and starring Barbara Rush, John Hoyt, Richard Deere, Peter Hansen, Raquel Ames, Larry Keating, and Stephen Chase. Astronomers discover that a planet and its star are hurtling in the direction of our world. In eight months, the planet Zyra will pass by, causing disastrous weather issues on Earth. Twelve days after that, its sun, Belus, will crash into Earth. Before Earth's possible destruction, scientists figured out a way to take about 40 people to the new approaching planet on a spaceship. The difficulties of choosing 40 people out of the population are obvious. There are already 600 people working on the project who'd like to go along for the ride. Additional contention grows with those funding and running the project and the workers. Been a couple of fist fights? I told you, it's dog eat dog, the law of the jungle. Until they all reach a breaking point. Number one. The Quater Mass Experiment. Directed by Val Guess and starring Brian Dunleavy, Margia Dean, Richard Wordsworth, Jack Warner, Garden Jackson, Thord Hurd, and Lionel Jeffries. The ground crew couldn't locate Professor Quater Mass's experimental rocket for 57 hours. And when it returned to Earth, one astronaut had a strange fungus on his arm. The growth was transforming him into a murderous monster that seemed unstoppable. Time is running out because the thing will soon release reproductive spores, endangering the entire planet. Thanks for coming along for the ride. Don't forget to subscribe and like and place your comments below about your favorite sci-fi movies of the 1950s. See you next time.